come talk about trifluralin now. How is that made and what is important uh, to have in a really good trifluralin product? So we can see here that this is the trifluralin tech. This is the natural state in which it comes in uh, when we import that product from overseas. It's in a cake form, it's hard, it's in a crystal. Uh, what we do with that product that comes in a 200 litre or 200 gallon drum that you'd be familiar with is we put that in a little oven uh, that we steam at, we call it a steam at, and that steams overnight. Quite a few hours and it goes down into a liquid. And what we have here, this particular product here, is the trifluralin and the solvent. So we've put that into a solvent so that it doesn't go back into its crystal form, it stays as a liquid. Um, you'll notice around the edge, anything that dries out goes back to its crystal form because the solvent evaporates. So if I put that particular product in water, let's have a look at, uh, at what happens. So you can see how that balls up. Uh, it creates lots of little balls inside there. And it doesn't though go evenly into the water solution. The reason for that is it doesn't have any emulsifiers or surfactants in that. Okay, so that is, that is why that looks like it is. So let's have a look at some smart trifluralin that has those really high grade emulsifiers and surfactants in them. Watch once again what happens here. We're looking for an instant bloom um, and we're looking for that to go evenly into distribution. So a bit of a puff there. You can see that working into the solution. If we just give that a little bit of agitation and you'll see that that goes into the solution beautifully. It's a nice even, and we've got that active ingredient of trifluralin spread perfectly amongst all of that water. So when you boom spray, every droplet that hits a plant will have the equal amount of trifluralin in that droplet. 